Yo, what is up guys? Joker here bringing you another video for Once Human. So season two officially started about a week ago and you're able to migrate into the season two servers, which enables you to move over gear from the seasonal backpack and the eternal realm essentially, right? And this is going to allow you to bring over primarily deviants, blueprints, gear, materials, stuff like that. And I wanted to go ahead and go over my uh, essentials that you should really bring over because you have a cap of 20k material points and I actually wasted mine. Um, I went ahead and I wasted like 10k points bringing over this crossbow because it was already done, right? It's my calibration 10 crossbow from season one, but it has a required level of 40. So it's literally doing nothing for me right now. It pretty much just ate up all my material points. And that's kind of the point of this video. I want to go ahead and go over my priorities of what I would bring no Knowing what I know now. So coming in first is going to be like things that you do not want to bring, right? Do not bring any type of weapon or armor. You're going to still have your blueprints and you're going to be able to remake these items in the current season. And they are extremely expensive to go ahead and try to bring over, right? It's going to eat the entirety of your material points and you're not even going to be able to use them. So don't, don't even consider bringing over any of the end game gear that you are using. Huge mistake, a huge oversight. I wasn't paying very much attention, but I'm making the video to make sure that you guys don't make the same mistake. Uh, apart from that, the first thing that you want to prioritize is going to be deviants, in my opinion. Deviants are relatively cheap, and they're going to be kind of the best bang for your buck in terms of material points, because you're going to be able to bring over your beaver, you're going to be able to bring over your digger boy, you're going to bring able to bring over a good canine deviant right as well as if you have way more of the quality of life deviants than i do have you're going to be able to bring those over as well right um i grabbed a canine skull and a um and a flame essence and the hand and a rain boy with my beaver right and then i grab did i grab another digger boy i didn't this is the one you kind of get guaranteed when you mine a rock, but I grabbed my uh, beaver, rain boy, flame essence, the hand, and a canine. I probably would have gained, uh, grabbed way more deviants if I didn't waste the points, because in my opinion, deviants are like the highest priority because they add so much quality of life. I would have grabbed my electric eel, that way it goes ahead and helps me generate electricity. Um, if you have the mushroom guy that automates the planning process for you, he would have been really good as well, right? There would have been a bunch of other deviants that I actually grabbed that I kind of had to miss out on. Now, from deviants, the next thing that I recommend you grab is actually going to be your strong food dishes, right? This is going to be things like the Stardust Energy Drink as well as any high value combat foods you have or the... Um, right the canned seafood in oil if you had any of those because it gives you the 66 666 or 6666 uh increased chance to get that material uh increased yield right so um, that would be extremely helpful in these early stages of grinding for materials. And because they are canned, they don't expire. So you could have grabbed them and still used them when you're trying to grind more of the end game resources. That's another mistake that I wish that I would have done. I wish I would have grabbed some of my combat oriented dishes, right? Things like um, the canned meat where I get the extra damage. Uh, I believe I have one right here, right? Weak spot damage. And then we have the max HP. Uh, I know one of these I have set up for giving me regen. I just don't remember which one it is. Uh, I, I had... 
I could have swore I had food dishes set up that were giving me passive region, but they were healing me naturally over time, right? So super good there, as well as like the corn L giving you extra action speed or giving you clear minded, making sure that you can't drop sanity. Stuff like that would have been things that I prioritized because it's not that expensive. I would have been able to bring essentially an infinite supply of food more than enough to last me for the majority of the season, right? So that's something that I wish that I would have grabbed. Uh, the deviated food, maybe, but it takes a while before you can even use the deviated vegetables and stuff. So uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, because like I said, much like the armor and weapons, you're kind of gated on not being able to actually use them. But these primary foods that just give you uh, like increased HP, the more yield, the double jump, stuff like that is extremely helpful throughout progression in once human so prioritizing prioritizing that after deviance would have been really what i did and then the third thing that i would have grabbed would have been um it, it would have been my logging chainsaw it looks like anything that requires a specialization from your memetics you can't bring over so if you had like a normal logging chainsaw and a normal drill you could have brought those over but like the sunlight versions that were from the memetic specializations you couldn't bring those over because i i had those and i guess i just couldn't bring them over that it's not giving me that option right so that's what i would suggest after deviance and good food is you're gathering material uh, you're gathering uh, tools uh just because even though you couldn't repair them immediately it would significantly significantly speed up the progression process from there it would be just any blue any good blueprints you had and then potentially fuel would have been what you used around it out maybe oh no adrenaline shots are way too expensive i wouldn't have even brought those but yeah so it goes deviance food resource gathering tools and then whatever else you have points for at that point, right? If you have some really good blueprints, you could have brought them over. Um, blueprints are, remember, only one time use, so it's kind of eh. Uh, but as long as you get your deviants, your food dishes, and your gathering tools, you're going to be set for easy, smooth progression. You won't have to worry about starting back at like copper and bronze tools, which... I forgot how bad it sucks gathering with these. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just what I recommend you to bring into season two if you haven't transferred anything over yet. If you have and you made the similar mistake, we can sit in pain together. But that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. Uh, once we enter phase two here in a day, it's going to unlock the rest of my memetics tree. Uh, well, not the rest, but more of my memetics tree. And one of the main things that I want to prioritize is animal capture and animal taming because these are two of the new things, right? So I really want to prioritize these as soon as I can. That's why I kind of wanted to make sure that I have everything unlocked up until here in case there was any kind of other requirement. Uh, but it looks like the last thing I'm waiting on is just tame the steroid, uh, I guess steroid, uh, to start. And then I'm going to be able to work on that. Uh, my base is really minimal right now because the vast majority of this space I plan on using to put like my animals, right? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and until next time, take care.